Brittany and I'm Brianna and, and welcome, welcome back, back to the Lewis Twins <gasps> channel. Welcome back to yet another day of Vlogtober. This one is going to be a fun one because as you know Halloween is approaching and we all love eating candy during this time of year and more importantly receiving candy because we want free stuff. If you didn't know we are vegan and we're going to be sharing with you 50 treats that you may not know are vegan that you can enjoy if you're also vegan like us on Halloween and if you want to give out candy and treats you can make sure that they're vegan as well. Just because you're vegan does not mean that you have to miss out on all the fun and the sweetness and the sugar comas that we're all going to be getting into during this time of year and also even if you're not vegan you can watch this video you can learn something interesting and you can also have some of these options to help out your vegan friends if you want to know what candies you should be enjoying this year if you are a vegan then keep on watching the first accidental vegan treat is Sour Patch Kids. Number two is Sour Patch Kids Watermelons. Three is Swedish Fish, but watch out because some packages of Swedish Fish contain beeswax, so just look out for that. Number four is Skittles, which that includes Sour Skittles, Regular Skittles, Berry Skittles. Just make sure that if they put out like a limited edition type of Skittle like they normally do, just make sure to check the ingredients first, but most of the time they are vegan. Five is a newer item and it's plant-based Reese's Cups, and if you haven't tried them, they are super good, and I used to be a former original Reese's fan, and they literally taste the exact same to me. Number six is also a newer item, and it is plant-based Hershey's Bars. This is also so good. If you've never tried this before, I would recommend trying them. They are a little bit hard to find, but when you do find them, they are so good. Number seven is Airheads. Number eight is Airhead Extreme Strips, not the Bites because the Bites have that caramine or caramine ingredient. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. We're going to talk more about that ingredient at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Number nine is Smarties, the candy that they used to give us in school to be like, you're going to be smart if you eat this. Yeah, that candy is vegan. Number 10 is Twizzlers, which I'm so happy about this one because I love Twizzlers. That's the perfect movie theater candy. Number 11 is Dots, which I was really happy about this because most gummy candy is not vegan, but I love Dots, so I was happy about this one. And number 12 is Nerds. 13 is Pixie Sticks. 14 is Fun Dip. I'm super excited about this one because I used to love Fun Dip as a kid. I can definitely still enjoy it now that I'm vegan. 15 is Sweet Tarts. 16 is Jolly Ranchers. 17 is Jolly Ranchers Gummies. 18 is Jolly Ranchers Lollipops. And those are the only three variations of Jolly Ranchers that are vegan because the Jolly Ranchers chews are not vegan. 19 is Hubba Bubba Chewing Gum. 20 is Juicy Fruit Chewing Gum. 21 is Dum Dums. And I like that they're also vegan too because I really do enjoy it. Dum Dums. My favorite flavors are the butterscotch and the sherry flavor. My favorite flavor is definitely the orange one because I love anything orange. 22 is Fruit by the Foot. And I'm so excited about this because I love Fruit by the Foot. So when I found out this was vegan, I was so, so happy. 23 is Haribo Sour Sketty. I hear a lot of people talking about this. Vegans are excited that this is vegan but i've never had this candy so comment down below if you've had this one and i'm excited to try it eventually 24 is lint dark chocolates a lot of dark chocolates are vegan but sometimes they want to be annoying and put milk in dark chocolate i'm like that's what milk chocolate is for so i would just caution that you look on the back of every chocolate for its ingredients but most of the time dark chocolates are going to be vegan number 25 is tic tacs 26 is Laffy Taffy's, but make sure that it's the fun size, not the larger ones. Number 27 is Ring Pops, like the rings that you can like put on your finger, but not the gummy version, just like the hard one. Number 28 is Blow Pops. I was so happy about finding out that these were vegan as well because I love Blow Pops. I know we just say we love like almost every candy on here, but we love a lot of candy. Number 29 is Dandy's Marshmallows. They come in different flavors. Number 30 is Trader Joe's Marshmallows, which I know the Trader Joe's Marshmallows come in like a bunch of different flavors. I know they came with the maple one. They do peppermint for the holiday season, like Christmas time, and then they have regular. Speaking of Trader Joe's, number 31 is the Scandinavian Swimmers, and both the regular and sour ones are vegan. The bonus tree is also going to be like, the ones that they have for the holidays, like they have Valentine's Day ones, Halloween ones, and holiday gummies, they're all vegan. 32 is Brock Mandarin Orange Slices. 33 is from the Unreal brand, and it's the Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. I've never tried these, but I've seen these in stores, and they look really good, so I kind of want to compare them to the other peanut butter cups I was talking about earlier and see which ones I like better. Number 25 really is isn't like a candy or anything but you can use this to make halloween treats and it's the hershey's chocolate syrup number 35 is warheads i definitely don't think i would be eating these because they're sour but if you like sour candies and you're vegan you can definitely have those as a treat 36 is 
is the Push Pop candies. 37, we have Lifesavers, but the only ones that are vegan are the original Wild Cherry and the Buttered Rum flavors. The gummy Lifesavers are not vegan. So we have been doing like a lot of candy, but we're gonna also include some treats too. If you're not like a candy person, you can also enjoy some of these treats as well. Number 38 is Gushers, and I was so excited to find out that Gushers were vegan because I love Gushers. Like I literally love Gushers. I used to eat them all the time as a kid, so I was so happy to find out that I can still eat them now. 39 is Oreos and it's all Oreos. I would just check if they had like a limited version. I would just check like the back of it to make sure it doesn't have milk or anything in it. But most of the time, 99% of the time, Oreos are gonna be vegan. The only type of Oreo that's advertised as non-vegan is the Cakesters, which is such a bummer because I used to eat those all the time and I was so happy when they brought them back, but they wanna not be inclusive. So just eat the regular Oreo cookies. Number 40 is Nutter Butters, which I also really like Nutter Butters too, so I was happy to find out these were vegan too. 41 is Lay's Classic Potato Chips. Number 42 is Lay's Barbecue Potato Chips. Number 43 is the Velveeta Crunchy Breakfast Bars. However, not all the flavors are vegan, so I'm going to go ahead and list out the flavors that are vegan for you. I screenshotted it because it's a long list. So the ones that are vegan are the blueberry, the chocolate, the cinnamon brown sugar, the cranberry orange, golden oat, toasted coconut, peanut butter, banana bread, mixed berry, and oats and peanut butter. Number 44 is the Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars, and not all the flavors are vegan, so I'm gonna read them out again. The flavors that are vegan for you, it's the apple crisp, cinnamon, maple brown sugar, peanut butter, pecan crunch, and roasted almond flavors. And then number 45 is a treat that we kind of loathed as kids for Halloween, but it's pretzels. I actually enjoyed getting pretzels as a kid for Halloween, but I know like it was kind of like a bummer, like we want candy, not pretzels. But pretzels are vegan and you can enjoy them on Halloween. But make sure that if it's like a specialty flavor, or like has honey, mustard or something on it, just like obviously that's not gonna be vegan. You can always just check the back to make sure that they're vegan. Number 46, is Takis and I know they have like the original flavor and the blue flavor so if you're a Takis fan and you're a vegan you can definitely enjoy these this Halloween. Number 47 is Pringles but only the original flavor not like the other ones because they have non-vegan ingredients so if you're enjoying Pringles make sure that's the original one. 48 is Skinny Pop. 49 is Chex Mix but it's only the original flavor. And number 50 the last one is a personal favorite of mine it's a sweet chili Dorito flavor. This is so good it makes me not even miss the nacho cheese flavor because chef's kiss these are so good if you're vegan and you haven't tried these make sure you pick you up a bag for this halloween season those are our vegan treats that we wanted to share with you for this halloween season so if you are a vegan you can make sure that you're included in all of the halloween festivities by enjoying these treats we did compile a pretty hefty list of 50 items but you know that's not every accidental vegan or all vegan treats candies by any means if one of your favorite treats or candies is not a part of the list it probably still may be vegan we're going to add a list of ingredients that you want to look out for when looking to check to see if a candy or a treat is vegan. So all of these items right here are non-vegan. So if they're in your treats or your candy or any food that you're eating, that thing that you're eating is not vegan. So that's going to close out the video for today. So if you enjoyed the watching the video and you watched the end, comment a candy emoji. We also want to know your favorite vegan treats if they did not make the list. We want to expand our vegan junk food palette. So if you have any vegan treats that did not make our list please comment them below because we want to eat some good things this halloween season and finally if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video and we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new episode of vlogtober bye, bye.